we have heard a lot recently about how many Americans are sleep deprived. And now a survey of working parents confirms they're also sex deprived. 70% said they're too tired to get romantic after a full day of work. And relationship expert Heidi Banks is here with some advice for those poor couples. 70%, <laughs> a bit of a staggering number though, is it not? It, it really is a staggering number, but it's so understandable, Chris. I mean, the demands of parenting these days, so much homework, helping with homework, carpooling, shopping, all the things that both parents working in this economy. Yeah. It's a wonder anybody's having sex. All right, let's put this number in a little in perspective, though. Average couple per An average week, couple. let's say average American couple per week, how many times are they having sex? This is the scary thing. Under 30, or in the honeymoon phase, mm -hmm. phase of a relationship, usually when there aren't children, yeah. two to three times. Okay. Over 30, 59 times a year. So that's a little bit more than once a week. Mm. When you get to about, be about 60 or 70, once a month. So anywhere in there. But you can't compare yourself. You can't get into a numbers game. Yeah. It's about connecting in a relationship. So if you're sitting home going, oh, honey, we're, you know, it's only 54 times and it's already, yeah. you know, New Year's Eve and we're starting. You can't do that. Yeah. You've got to really allow your relationship to be what it's supposed to be. And I was going to say, a lot of it's got to be based on both personal preference, where the relationship stands. Exactly. Uh, I mean, there are a number of factors that are involved. We want to keep that in mind. The phrase, though, that we keep hearing, though, is I'm just too tired for it right now. Um, research, are you hearing that a lot more in your, oh your, my your God, studies? Oh, my God, yes. And research says there's really three things that affect um, whether or not you're having sex in a relationship. Health and hormones. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, as you get older, your sex, decrease, your sex drive decreases yep. with most people. Uh, how tired you are is number two out of, out of that whole list, and even more important than that, how happy the relationship is. Yeah, are those the, the, the real, are they the major factors for married couples Absolutely. that you're seeing Absolutely. If over you're not over? happy in the relationship, you're not having a great sex life. If yeah. you're exhausted, you're not having a great sex life. If you're not healthy, you're not having a great sex life. But you can't use that as an excuse. Yeah. Now that's the other side of the coin. Is, and I don't want to <laughs> dumb it down this much, but is it one of those things where if you're really want to do it, you can find time, no Listen, matter what. I mean, we all is that know what that. it boils down to? It really does boil down to that. But you've got to make it a priority. Make connecting a priority, and you've got to make the enjoyment of it a priority. So maybe skip the trip to the mall. Yeah. You know, a lot of us get distracted with the little things in our life and say, I'm going to take a nap for two hours, and then let's get, you know, yeah. Let's get busy. Let's t let's talk about fatigue, though, on a serious note. How does it? I mean, how does it affect? I guess one's libido. There's nothing that stresses you out more than not having enough sleep. And if you don't have enough sleep, your libido is low. That's just the bottom line. But on the other side of it is, if you push yourself to have sex, it does energize your libido. So it's one of those two-sided coins. Yeah. Is this kind of I'm too tired to do it? Is it the modern day I've got a headache? Yeah, I mean, when I hear that from couples and individuals, you've got to look beneath it. It's always the issue beneath it. Like, what's really going on here? Have you connected? Have you taken the time as a couple? Are there other stresses coming into this relationship? Because yeah. you just can't use that excuse. So what tips would you provide people who are in this kind of funk right now, the 70% yeah. of married couples who just don't have sex anymore? Well, if children are, it's, and these are, and by the way, it is, married people with children. Mm -hmm. So get up a half hour earlier. You know, get up before the kids yeah, and make it a priority. Yeah. yeah. You know, we always think of sex in the evening and we're exhausted. Get your good night's sleep. Wake up a little early in the morning and start your day that way. Again, reprioritize your relationship. Make connecting a priority. And number three, the most important thing, make you a priority and get more sleep. Yeah. We always make the kids the priority. It, a good marriage makes the couple the priority. And when you say connecting, making that a priority, you're just talking about just basically getting to know each other once again, huh? Just kind of having that that one-on-one -on -one interpersonal exactly. connection. Exactly. You know, I, I remember growing up, my father used to say to my mother, hey, we're going to go away for a few hours. And he would turn to us kids and he'd say, this is our time. Yeah. And we knew what that meant. <laughs> we, go play. <laughs> Don't we, come back. We knew it wasn't time to go buy school supplies. Let's put it that way. It was a time yeah. for them. So really, yeah. and again, exhaustion, get more sleep. It will. Sleep is the most important thing we can do for our health, yep. and it affects every area of our life. So maybe instead of taking a vacation, take a little sleep vacation. Yeah. Say, I'm going to take the day off from work, and I'm going to rest. A little rest can go a long way. Very long Heidi, way. Heidi, thanks. Thank you. Good to see you. Some good advice.